Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Sailing Bucket List. We're retired people from St. Louis, Missouri, and we're sitting here on our sailboat. We are currently not wearing our life jackets because our boat is in winter storage at this moment. The mast isn't even on it. Indoor winter storage is the perfect time to install a hoist. The hoist is the subject of episode 27. When cruising on bucket list, a dinghy is our taxi. We use the dinghy really often when we're at anchor. We tow our dinghy behind bucket list when we're traveling. Many times it's fine to have the weight of that outboard on the back of the dinghy. But other times, we don't want that heavy outboard on the dinghy. For example, when we're traveling a long distance or when we expect unsettled water conditions. The situation we have, a sailing couple, still in their prime, but not quite as young as they used to be, want to continue to sail. This means they must be able to install and uninstall the outboard motor on their dinghy as required by conditions. How can they do this? Previously, we used a 2.5 horsepower Mercury four cycle outboard motor weighing in at 38 pounds to drive our dinghy. We were able to successfully manhandle this motor from bucket list to the dinghy and back. We also found that certain situations such as on the Hudson River in New York City, this motor could not counter the current so it was not, not usable. This motor is what replaced our two and a half horsepower. This is a 9.9 .9 horsepower Mercury four cycle weighing in at 83 pounds. This provided more than enough power for any situation we needed. If you look at episode 20, the Hayward Bear, you can see how this motor easily gets our West Marine 10 foot rib up on plane. The solution we implemented was to install on the stern of bucket list a Garhauer 150 pound capacity hoist with a six to one purchase. This enables us to manipulate the motor to and from the dinghy and bucket list successfully. We originally thought about the 100 pound capacity hoist, but decided on the larger model because one, it made it easier for us to lift the motor and it also gave us the capability to pull someone out of the water in a man overboard situation. In many years of sailing and cruising, we've never had a person go overboard but we can easily imagine using this hoist to help a cold, tired swimmer ascend the swim ladder. Now let's take a close look at our primary use for this hoist, and that is getting the outboard motor from the stern of the sailboat to the dinghy and back. All right, I'm going to lift the motor. Okay, we're suspended. Well, I, I raised it out. So I'm getting in the, in the dinghy, right. and then you're going to, you know how to lower it, right? Yeah. Okay. Lowering. Good. Nice and easy. 
Now let's take a look at lowering that outboard motor from the opposite side. Okay, we're suspended. Yeah. You can let it down a little if you want. Well, I, I raised it out. You know how to lower it, right? Okay. Be sure to notice the heavy-duty engine tote that's holding that engine, and also notice the safety line. Now we're going to watch as the outboard is lifted from the dinghy to the back of bucket list. So now I'm going to loosen the screws and hold the motor on. All right, Trace, are you ready to lift? Okay. Um, this is where I need the slack. Oh, I don't need the slack, do I? I don't know. So you lift, and I'll try. I will keep the motor away from the. To the front of the Then I'll come up and help you. Oh, one more. Okay. One, one more. more. That's 13 poles to get it to that point. Stop for a second. I need you over here, huh? Yeah. So you're going to handle the up and down of the motor, or hopefully down, and I'm going to guide it. Okay. Okay, not, not, not quite yet. Now, down a little more. A little more. 
Any more? Yeah, it's slack without going down. Ready? Ready? Put the pole. That's good. good. And finally, we're watching the motor be lifted from the dinghy mm -hmm. to stir in a bucket list, but from the other side. The actual act of lowering the motor takes about two minutes. The act of raising the motor takes about three minutes, but I wouldn't want to do either one in rough sea conditions. I'm getting the safety strap. So now I'm going to loosen the screws that hold the motor on. All right, Grace, are you ready to lift? Okay. I don't need slack, do I? I don't think so. Now you lift and I'll try. I will keep the motor away from the... the, 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 the lift. Up. Good. More. More. Is it hard? A little bit. Okay. More. One more, then I'll come up and help you. About one more. Okay. One, one more. more. That's 13 pulls to get it to that point. Oh. All right, Trace, I need you over here, huh? Okay. So you're going to handle the up and down of the motor, or hopefully down, and I'm going to guide it. Okay. Okay, now start lowering. You're not, it's not, we're not quite yet. Now down a little more. A little more. Slack without going down. Okay. Okay. okay it looks good. This concludes episode 27 about our hoist. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure and hit subscribe. We'll see you in two weeks when our topic will be gadgets and gizmos, where we'll show you how we have the devices on board that help us enjoy boat life.